Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a makeup tutorial and this is inspired by the MAC in monochrome collection. This is a collection inspired by the iconic shades of MAC. So today I'm going to be combining Candy Yum Yum and a little bit of Velvet Teddy. I'm starting first of all by priming my eyelids with um, the shadow insurance. This is going to just ensure that the eyeshadows stick and I get maximum payoff and that they last all day. So this eyeshadow is, I guess, what totally inspired this makeup tutorial. One day I was just walking through the mall and I thought, and I was like, I need to have this. This is called Candyland and it's part of the Candy Yum Yum collection. Candy Yum Yum is probably one of my favorite matte lipsticks. I think it's really unique and I haven't seen a shade exactly like it in any other brand and I use it oh, quite, a, quite a bit, even though it's a pretty bright shade. Um, and I'm just applying this eyeshadow on my entire mobile lid using the Slim Shader. This is a flat, uh, shader brush and this is from my own personal line AWB makeup and I'm just packing this on as tightly as I can all over the lid The next shade I'm taking is called Diva Demands Matte and I'm pretty sure this is from the Ruby Woo collection. I mean it sounds like it would be part of the Diva collection, but I'm not sure if there actually is one. I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, this is just a very pigmented, rich, deep, reddish brown shade. It, it's, it really is a dark red, but it does have a lot of that brown in it, so it makes it quite wearable. And I'm just pretty much defining the outer V of my eye with it. And then the effective eyeshadow that I'm going for today is called a halo technique. So I'm also taking that really deep shade and putting it in the very inner corners of my eyes. This is, I guess, the kind of placement that you wouldn't normally expect, but this is what really makes that hot pink in the middle pop. I'm just going back over with Candyland and packing that on a little bit more and then going back in with the Diva shade and just making sure those colors are blended and meshed properly. The third and final eyeshadow in this look is called Soft Teddy. This is a matte shade and it's a very light brown with a hint of pink undertone to it. And this is part of the Velvet Teddy collection. And this is a really great eyeshadow for blending things out. It's also a really nice shadow just to put all over the lid with some mascara and, and you're ready to go for your day. But it's just a really good shade to help me blend out this look. So I'm using here the Crease Wiz. This is a blending brush. And I'm just kind of softening those edges because I don't want this look to be too harsh. And now I'm taking the Candy Yum Yum Glitter, and this is amazing. <laughs> I just had to add some glitter to this look. I'm using some glitter glue and the Glitter Please brush, and this is the best brush possible for, for glitters and for any kind of cream product, really, essentially. And I'm just packing that glitter right on the center portion of my mobile eyelid, exactly where that Candyland eyeshadow was, and it's just gonna make it more sparkly and more special. So I am left with quite a bit of fallout on my face, so I'm just taking um, a clean wipe and just cleaning that off before I continue uh, with the rest of the face. Um, but before that, I'm of course going to be applying tons of mascara because you need tons of mascara for this type of look. I'm just using the Smashbox mascara. It's a really great one actually for lengthening and separating your lashes. If you really wanted to go for extra drama, you could totally add false lashes to this look. I think it would really complete the look. But I kind of wanted to show in this look how you can go full out color and full out sparkles and glitter and, and have a lot of fun with makeup, even if you're not gonna go that extra mile with applying false lashes, I think this still looks great. I'm using the Huda Beauty Matte Perfection Base today. I really love the light, serum-y texture of this primer, and I find that it really does help my, my makeup stay on longer, and I just, I think it's a really great primer. Um, I'm just gonna be packing on foundation. I'm actually using a foundation from a brand called Soft Touch, which is uh, here in Israel, and I'm just, applying that with the airbrush and you know it's just a classic buffing brush and you can just pack on the foundation and build the coverage and blend out on the edges.
In my personal opinion, when you're doing a really bright or bold makeup look, it has to come with a full coverage foundation or else it kind of starts to pick up on the redness that you have in your skin. For concealer, I'm just using this Camouflage Concealer by Essence. It's a really great one. It has full coverage and it's really light, this, this number 10 shade, so I use it for highlighting under my eyes as well. I'm blending out the concealer using the Bye Bye Under Eye Brush by AWB Makeup. And I love this brush for concealer because it's big enough that it gets the job done so nicely and blends things out perfectly. But it also has that little point so you can get right into the inner corner and right up to your, to your lower lash line without making things messy. I absolutely love this brush for blending out concealer. This next product I'm obsessed with, this is the Clinique Contour Stick. I love it because it contours, but it also warms up my skin tone as well because it has a lot of warmth to the shade. So I absolutely love this. This is kind of a two-in-one for me, and it's really, really easy to blend out. I love the texture, and it's super long wearing. So I'm just blending that out using the chiseler, and it's just it just really defines my face and bronzes it all at once. So this next little trick is a really simple one, just using a really, really light concealer. This is MAC's um, Studio Finish Concealer in NW10. It's the lightest concealer I have, and just blending that right on the brow bone gives it a really nice highlight, and I think really completes the makeup look. It really cleans it up, cleans up the outer edges, and helps your brows really stand out when you're about to fill them in a few steps. <laughs> Of course, I'm going to powder my face and I will leave the full list of products used in the description box below. So make sure to check that out if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about any of the products that you see in the video. I'm going back to that Diva shade um, and just kind of defining the lower lash line of my eyes. I didn't want to go too smoked out or blown out here because I did want to keep that nice elongated shape of the upper eyelid. Um, so I'm just putting that on the lower lash line and kind of blending it out a little bit with the same pencil brush. Adding some mascara to my lower lashes. And then I'm using the Anastasia Brow Pomade to just define my eyebrows. So after kind of lightening my eyebrows, I'm moving on to blush, and this blush is my go-to blush. I'm obsessed with it. It's from the Velvet Teddy Collection, and it is just beautiful. I love it. For highlight, I'm using the Huda Beauty highlighters, and these are just amazing highlighters as well. And pretty much I'm making my face look like a disco ball, just the way we like it. And for lipstick, of course, the iconic Candy Yum Yum. I purposely paired this look with this neon sweater because I just, I love the contrast of the bright shades. And I just, I love showing you guys how you don't need to be afraid of color and you can do whatever you like in makeup. There's no rules, just have fun. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys, bye.